Hey, you guys, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel, Divine and Gifted. I am Shay. Hello, everyone. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Y'all, I was under the weather. So um, I am feeling a lot better. Uh, peace and prosperity to each and every one of you guys. This is going to be energy for the week moving forward, okay? This week, we're going to focus on healing, okay? Um, whew, I feel like some of you guys just need to take time to actually breathe and connect with yourself. Um, like, take the step to say, you know what? I'm about to create this five minutes right here to connect myself right now, just to release a lot of pent up energy, emotions, feelings, stagnant energy. It's just time to, to just give yourself a break, okay? So, let's see, let's hop right in. Spirit will message this to you for the collective, working in their highest good for their highest favor. Hello to all my beautiful subscribers. If you're new here, welcome. Okay. Tap on right in. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can know when I upload. Check out some of my contents. Okay. Spirit messages to y'all for the collective. Working in their highest gift for their highest favor for this week ahead. Current energy, please and thank you. Can we please have messages full of unconditional love, peace, happiness, joy, or a lot full of unconditional love, lights. Asking to protect our energy, our aura, our space, and our frequency. Ashe. Okay, so. Spirit, when it comes to this week ahead, what does the collective need to heal? Where should their focus be when it comes to healing? Where should their focus be when it comes to healing? This says, who am I ready to forgive? I am not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become. It's time to let go, forgive, and move onward. Is your soul ready to forgive someone else or yourself? Forgiveness brings sweet release, freedom, and insight. Look at it from their shoes. Notice how you grew and what you learned. Who do you want to become? And how is this resistant holding you from what your soul wants? Today's soul action, it says, write a forgiveness letter, then practice the whole open no no prayer today while thinking of the person you are ready to forgive. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me and thank you. Now, I just want you to know that I feel this energy so strongly. I feel like for some of you guys, you guys are really needing to forgive yourself. <clears throat> and quite naturally, you want to put this pain this hurt this this deceit that you are feeling on other people but you really need to go in and say you know what i'm truly apologetic to how i didn't show up for you how i left you unprotected how i allow other people to use and abuse you how i um didn't have the best thought patterns or processes when it came to you and me and my journey like some of you guys really need to go in and have this deep conversation with yourself and take accountability for where you are okay and i feel as though this is um stemming from the last video i did about the blame card but um i feel I feel like for others of you guys, you guys have been in situations with people, with friends and family, or it could be like um, relationships and the people that you were in relationships with, they are really weighing heavy on you. And that's why the forgiveness card is here, because as you were shifting through Mercury retrograde and Venus retrograde, which is now direct as of yesterday, um... You guys had a lot of time to really self-reflect and learn how to speak up for yourself in ways that you can clearly communicate. And I feel as though your self-expression is now more loud than ever. And now since you're going to be able to express yourself, you need to also be able to forgive yourself for not allowing yourself to express yourself. I don't know where I was going with that. That was totally um, sidebar. But I do feel like for some of you guys, how you guys are allowing the relationships that are leaving your life to impact you are very important and it's very easy to hold on and harbor onto resentment than it is to actually free them and forgive them um i just want you guys to know that i know you guys each individually go through your own situations and stuff like that but do not allow anyone to have that kind of power or control over your feelings and emotions because 
of because you're still holding on to that hurt. Okay. But this card, who am I ready to forgive? Who are you ready to forgive? Who are you ready to forgive? Is it yourself? Is it another? I am not what happened to me. I am choo I am who I choose to become. I want to take one more. I want to take one more. Um, I want to. Okay, I want to take one more. Can I take one more for where the collective needs healing this week ahead? This week ahead, where does the collective need healing? What excuses am I making right now? No more waiting. There will never be a good enough time. The time is now. If it's important enough, today's soul action. If it's important enough to you, you will find a way. Today, make a decision and do it. Even if you don't feel ready, listen to your heart. You will be led. Now, I feel as though for others of you guys who are um, already been working on this forgiveness path, for others of you guys, now that you've forgiven yourself, now that you've actually been healing, now that you have actually found this space in your found this space, created this space. Now, what are you waiting for? What is keeping you from being your true authentic self? What is authenticity? And what does it, what does it mean? What does it look like? What does it feel like? Um, and is that showing up in yourself and the people that surround you? This, what excuses am I making right now? What's keeping you from going after your dreams? What's keeping you from, from expressing how you truly feel? Um, why are, why are you allowing yourself to stay stuck or stagnant in a certain cycle or a situation? What excuses are you making for other people? What excuses have you been making for yourself have you been in a victim mind in a victim mindset or have you adopted a victim mentality okay um this what excuses am i making for myself how am i allowing myself to be complacent and comfortable and how can i make myself or how can i challenge myself to step outside of my comfort zone what is it that i need to do um how do i need to open up and express okay and i know i'm giving you all these different journal introspective topics and that's what i'm here for okay but it says no more waiting. So what have you been? What did? What have you been procrastinating? What have you been putting to a side? Putting to the side or saying it can go? It can wait? Or I have time? Okay. What does that look like? Okay. And some of you guys, you guys are needing to challenge yourself to listen to your heart. And I feel like that's what spirit wants you to wants you to understand that the more you listen to your heart, the more you are in alignment with your path, the more you go against what it is you truly want, you truly desire, the further away from your path you become. The more you question your path, the more in alignment you are with your path. OK, the more you're like, should I do this? Is this the right thing? Is this the right person? Blah, blah, blah. X, Y and Z. Just sit with yourself and breathe. And all the answers that you need will come if you're open to receiving them. Okay. I do want to pull a blockage card here. I said a blockage card and grab the ancestor deck. Okay. Let's talk about it. What does your ancestor guys, angels want you to know about this week ahead? What is your ancestors, guys, angels, and ancestors want you to know about this week ahead, about what it is that you need to heal? What do they want you to know? A mother's love. For some of you guys, you guys are needing to heal this within you. Um, this is your divine feminine energy. For others of you guys, this is actually a loved one, a close relative, or something like that. Someone that you... Um, could someone who, who could have uh, uh, oh lord could have adopted you um or you've adopted like a mom like it, it may not be uh your actual mother but i feel like some of you guys are actually working on the mother wound at this time um now i don't, I don't think you guys understand that where your mother is mentally physically emotionally spiritually when you when you are conceived a lot of that gets passed down to you and it's up to you to work through that. Okay. So some of you guys go hug your mom, go spend time with your mom, go love on your mom. Others of you guys, this, this woman is appearing in this reading because your mom wants you to know that you are safe, protected, and well cared for in the spiritual realm. They're always there supporting you. They're always there extending that lighthearted energy. Okay. Um, 
but it says a mother's love is reaching out to you at this time, holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. So I don't know who that's for. If you recently just lost a loved one, a mom, an aunt, a grandma, or something like that, someone who you felt was a mother figure in your life, my condolences to you. Can I get one more ancestor message? <coughs> Hello from above. Wow. Wow. It says your loved ones in the spirit world want you want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you to approve to prove to prove they're with you. Wait, what? Show how much they love you to prove they're with you at this time. Now, for some of you guys, you guys there is someone, you have a, like a spirit guide, because it doesn't have to be a mother, it could be necessarily, it could definitely be a spirit guide, that's a woman um, that is around you. And she's showing up through flowers, butterflies. Um, what is this? A dragonfly. I guess if you guys recently found some money or coins or something like that. I also feel like some of you guys are needing to leave an offering for those of you who um, do like ancestor situations, uh, have an ancestor altar. You guys are needing to leave some type of offering or something like that there. Now, I also feel as though your spirit team, your guides, your ancestors, your angels, if you are recently trying to figure out how to connect with them, all you have to do is just sit with yourself. Some of you guys can get real intimate and personal. Sit with yourself, light a candle, um, create a space designated just for them, and then vibe out, okay? It's really not that deep because you are your ancestors. They, they run through your blood. So um, just make sure that you're asking to connect with your benevolent benevolent ancestors okay that's in full and complete alignment with your soul's growth and your highest good word it how you want to word it but that is um for you at the bottom of the deck we have a child's love a love between parent and child is one so yeah this this is deep this is deep this is deep i also feel as though that's why i said the whole <sighs> some of you guys are working on like this is okay this is not why y'all taking over the reading like this? Okay. Why are y'all? We, we supposed to be focusing on the week ahead. Okay. Some of you guys are working through childhood trauma. Okay. Some of you guys are, your relationships are reflecting childhood trauma, wounds, things that has been passed down to you that actually needs to be fixed and healed. And I know you're like, what does this have to do with me? Because this is something that's been going on for generations within your family. And I don't know if this is something that you actually, that you, that you actually notice. Okay. Um, <clears throat> We're going to leave that where that's at because I'm done. Okay. I'm done with that because somebody tried to hijack. Okay. And that's not what this is for. So, yes. Well, let's hop right in and let's see what the energy is. Okay. For this week ahead. I'm supposed to be looking into blockages and some more. Okay. The spirit team, the, the ancestors, they need to go over the region. Okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective for this week ahead? Energy that's coming towards them. Who or what is coming towards them? What they need to know, why they need to know, how they need to know it. Period. We have this King of Cups energy here. The Nine of Cups. Judgment. The Knight of Pentacles. The sun, the three of pentacles, hmm. the devil, the four of pentacles, and the lovers. The bottom of the deck, we have the three of wands for the overall energy. Now, I feel as though with this overall energy, I feel as though for some of you guys, you guys have been hesitating to go after something or you guys have been waiting to go after something, okay? Um, waiting for the right time or the the waiting for the right opportune moment to open up or express or to really um, dive deep into who you are, what it is that you're feeling emotionally. I feel like for some of you guys with this three of wands, either I know what it means, but listen here, this is a 
intuitive message. So please take what you need and leave what you don't. But I feel as though with this three of wands, some of you guys have been afraid to connect with your emotions. Okay. Some of you guys have been running away from your intuition. Your intuition has been telling you, pushing you, guiding you, showing you the way. And you have been um, running away from your intuition because you're constantly looking for a better sign, a deeper sign. This is the time in your journey to where you're trusting the process the most. Okay. This is the time in your journey to where spirit is asking you to trust your intuition, to trust what you know, to trust what you believe, to trust what you feel in your heart because you're ready. The three of wands is here because you're ready. Now, if you prolong this process, you might miss your opportunity here with the three of wands. You cannot be afraid to let go of a person, place, or thing, thought, feeling, or emotion. You have to actually surrender to the unknown. You have to actually surrender to the, the and, and allow, and allow. You have to, you have to allow this energy to consume you, okay? And it's not going to consume you in a negative way. This energy is going to cleanse you. And that is what the water is for. The energy is going to cleanse you of all the stress, all the worries, all the, the times where you felt defeated, you let yourself down. If you allow yourself to surrender to the moment. Now, I do feel as though for some of you guys, there is a path that's opening up for you. And, um, there is a, a decision that you need to make here with this three of wands. The decision that you need to wait, make is, are you ready for the journey? And understand that if you if you say, yes, I'm ready for the journey, understand that it may not be as easy, but if you allow yourself to take what you've learned in the past and use it moving forward, that's why the, the, that's why it's clear here. That's why you can see, you can plan ahead. Okay. Um, but it's going to be a long journey. That's why there is there, but, the, but look, there is, it's, it's going to be not one of, it's not going to be difficult because there are no mountains here blocking you. Okay. There is something distant in the, there's something in the distance, but this means that you just need to plan ahead for, um, for minor setbacks, okay? Or this is like, do not get discouraged because do not get discouraged once obstacles or challenges appear. You are very much so ready on your journey, okay? Um, I also feel like some of you guys are, if you taking flights, taking trips, traveling is here. Uh, traveling is here. Hold on, let me look at this. Traveling is here, but I just feel as though do not focus so much on the future, on what's to come. Focus on the right here and now. And I feel like that's what this three of wands is telling you. It's to, it, because this plane just, just gave me a different perspective, a higher view. Because when you're in a plane and you look down, you can see the landscapes and all that, right? So this is like to have a, a, a very much so higher perspective again in trusting your intuition. Now, I also feel as though with this... um oh yeah enjoying the moment like this is this this three of wands is going to challenge you to go based upon what you feel how you feel right there right then and there and and follow that okay under the three of wands we have the eight of wands like i said you guys are on a journey or this is um spirit asking you are you ready for the journey okay the eight of wands with the empress yes everything that i just said this is you really stepping into your power but you have a choice that you need to make okay <clears throat> now getting into the cards now i do feel as though with this king of cups here this is emotional maturity at its finest um i also feel as though uh there were times periods or something like that to where your emotions were manipulated they were used against you with this king of cups energy here and now you know exactly what you want with this nine of cups and now you're more defensive and protective of what it is you want now i also feel like this is a season to make a wish um and when you make this wish make sure you you really sit with yourself and you don't get arrogant or cocky you you and, and and it's not even a humbled approach this this energy that is coming here about making a wish this is about setting a stage this is about this is about um being being very like all around fulfilled okay emotionally this this make a wish is is looking at every area of your life and speaking truth in 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 uh like grounding and stabilizing the energy i also feel as though not only are you speaking truth but you are claiming you are giving gratitude you are giving appreciation here for the spirits for your spirit guides your ancestors your angels with this knight of cups now the judgment card here is because 
this is this is this is the forgiveness process this is the rebirth okay this is the the rise of the phoenix this is to remind you not to allow the things that you've been through the things that you experienced the things that people did to you to hold to weigh heavy on you this is this is a time for you to step into your path and this is also a time for you to learn from your past mistakes and not really hold on and harbor on to resentment this is a time to break free now, I also feel like with this judgment card, this is making clear and decisive decisions moving forward here with this judgment card. And that's why the Knight of Pentacles follows the judgment. The judgment card is asking you, what do you want? And are you ready? This means spirit is watching you or has been watching you. Um, now, I also feel as though for some of you guys, you guys are needing to go in and find balance where balance is needed or balance is required here with this judgment card. The, the judgment card is asking you to connect and to give and to go after and to, um, to attach yourself to things that are going to be level-headed, consistent, steady, stable, things that is going to take time to... Um, like not rushing, okay? Because it's the Knight of Pentacles. It's the slowest night in the deck. So the, the Knight of Pentacles, the judgment card is asking you to take your time moving forward, take your time and invest in things, but also give your time to things that are going to take their time and invest in you that are going to take. And I also feel like for some of you guys, you guys need to understand that whatever it is that you're moving towards, it's going to take its time, maybe about a year um, or so. But this Knight of Pentacles is asking you to... The judgment card is asking you to no longer allow the past to hold you back and keep you from investing into person, place, or things that are going to, that are, that is, that's, that's loyal and solid and, and grounded, okay, with this Knight of Pentacles here. Now, I also feel like with the sun following underneath the King of Cups, like I said, emotional maturity at its finest, but I also feel as though for some of you guys, the sun is here to bring revelation, to bring truth, and also to shine. This is the sun in Virgo and in, in Virgo and Venus. I mean Virgo, Venus and Leo. This is the Venus and Leo, okay? And I just want you guys to understand that um this specific time it's bringing truth, clarity, revelation. It's bringing it's bringing happiness, joy, and fulfillment within relationships. But it's also revealing to you relationships that aren't in alignment with you. And there is a time that you need to let them go. This Three of Pentacles came out in reverse under the Nine of Cups. Because sometimes you ask for things, you ask for people, you want things, you truly desire things that are not good for you. Regardless of how tarnished, broken, or torn the relationship is. Um, sometimes you need to know when to cut it off okay and that's why it's followed by the devil card do not be dismayed what is this made don't be dismayed don't be easily what is this made cause someone to feel what does it say cause someone to feel concernation or distress it says experiencing or showing feelings of alarmed concern or dismayed upset worried agitated because of some unwelcome situation or occurrence do not be dismayed by relationships that cause inconveniences Okay, don't be upset, don't be worried, don't be agitated. Do not be dismayed by unhealthy, toxic relationships. Also, I feel as though with this judgment card and the devil card here, this is also revealing a lot of relationships that are, um, that you that you have become addicted to. You share some type of codependent behavior relationship with and spirit is trying to reveal this to you. Um, I also feel like you guys were attached, you guys were attached or stuck or bound or committed to a relationship that did this. Like there was a lot of head butting. There was a lot of disagreements here, okay? It is being called out for a reason. That's why the Three of Pentacles came here in reverse, okay? The Three of Pentacles is about teamwork, make the dream work. There was no teamwork, make the dream work, okay? Um, this judgment card here with the Four of Swords following the levers is that everything that is causing dysfunction is going to come to an end. You have to allow this energy to end how it's ending, okay? You have to take it for what it is because you're going through a definite rebirth when it comes to matters of the heart, when it comes to matters of love. You're redefining what love is and that's why the Four of Swords is here. The Four of Swords follows the Sun, the, the Three of Pentacles, the, 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 
the devil and the four swords. This whole row is on fire. When it comes to love, commitment, and happiness, when it comes to relationships, everything here is being exposed for a reason. And you're starting to see the truth of the matter for a reason. So take what it is and hold on to it as it's precious. Do not hold on to resentment. Don't harbor on these feelings of, um, of, <clears throat> of they betrayed me. They played me here with the devil card. That was kind of playing in your face with the devil card. Understand that there was a lesson here. There was a karmic lesson here. This had nothing to do with with the person. It has something to do with your assignment. You understand me? And spirit had to place you in this situation so you can see something for what it is, or so you can so you can learn something about a situation. Maybe when it comes to matters of the heart, when it comes to love, I also feel as though some of you guys are looking at the surface level of things and you guys need to look into this a little deeper. And that's why the four swords is here because you guys are actually needing to go in and heal what needs to be healed or what made you attracted or what made you fall in love or what made you keep going back. What made you, what made you desire a broken hearted relationship, a broken relationship? What made you, um, keep forgiving? Okay. Uh, that's what I, I wholeheartedly believe. Now, I also feel like some of you guys are making a deal with the devil here. If you guys tend to, to, to like double back, you guys will be making a deal with the devil. So please be careful and protect your heart, protect your space, protect your energy. Okay. I, I, I understand that. Listen, sometimes temptation will show up in the ways that you are the most insecure. Temptation will show up or the devil, quote unquote, um, will show up in the ways that your ego is the most fed, okay? So please take that into consideration that not everything that presents itself is for you. Some things are just repeated cycles or patterns. You're always going to be tested before you ascend to the next level. You're always going to be tested, okay? So yes, oh, I'm, I'm talking to y'all today. I really, I really wholeheartedly hope that you guys are receiving what I'm saying here. Um, now I do want to pull... An energy blockage card before we check up out of here. Okay. Can I get an energy blockage, please? For this devil energy. What's the main blockage here? Well, health that was the death card abundance main blockage what's the main blockage here grief okay and oh look i called it that's crazy i called it this is the death card you guys um the main energy blockage is having a hard time with freeing yourself from the past um, and this is why you're so stuck and bound to the past and you have to actually forgive yourself and free yourself from this energy. You have to choose better. And that's why the, who am I ready to forgive? It says, I'm not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become. You don't have to keep making yourself, um, pay for the mistakes or the decisions that you made of the past. You don't have to settle. Okay. You settling is you saying like, I deserve this kind of treatment. And I don't care what you did, what you've been through or how you've been through it. Understand that, that spirit is asking you to forgive yourself and to live your life that you wish to live. Okay. You just learn from your past mistakes here. Uh, but with this health card, I feel as though for some of you guys, it has become very toxic, unhealthy, unstable, unsatisfying. Um, I also feel as though it's created a lot of stress. And for some of you guys, you guys need to really watch your health when it comes to you dealing with people or when it comes to you dealing with certain situations that aren't really healthy for you. Okay. Now, I also feel like for some of you guys, you guys hold on to people out of grief, out of sadness, out of hurtness. You guys hold on to people because you once experienced a certain pain that you don't want to feel so you feel like you have to show up you have to prove you have to you you go above and beyond for people because of this this grief that you're holding on to and this has something to stint, do with your mother okay it's if not your mother then it's definitely your father and this is something that you need to heal with inside of yourself that you're holding on to broken relationships you're holding on to you're holding on to broken relationships you're holding on to people out of the 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 pain or the sadness or the regret um, you're holding on to this energy 
because of the sadness that you felt when you were a kid. Okay, some of you guys could be also holding on to relationships, people, because of the brokenness that you felt as a kid, the aloneness, the sadness, the abandonment issues that you're still holding on and harboring. It says, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. And I feel like some of you guys feel like if I remove myself from this situation, this is going to show them that they need me. No, you removing yourself from the situation is showing you that you need you. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Um... I do want to pull an angel message for you guys for this energy for the week. So let's get into it real quick. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Oh, you know what? I want to do both. I want to do a key oracle too. Uh-oh, what's this that's trying to come out? It says, honor yourself. Give yourself the respect, love, and appreciation you deserve. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, angel message for this week ahead. Whoa, that's a lot. We only want one. We only want one. We're gonna put these back. We only want one. But this says peace, trust, and creativity. So let's see what actually comes out. <laughs> Whoa. This is the prayer card. Help me to dissolve my past guilt or regret. Help me to see all the ways in perfect and divine order. Help me to let go of fear that I project on my future. Help me to live fully within each precious moment and feel your eternal love within and around me help me to realize and fulfill my true potential thank you one more thank you guilt it says you do not need another's approval to feel worthy of love regardless of what you've done or what you think you failed to do from your soul's perspective there's nothing neither right nor wrong every experience is life is here to help you expand your awareness of love so that you may embrace greater spheres of wisdom you've done nothing wrong okay bottom of the deck is gratitude i love that and then can we get a key oracle for the collective please that was quick we just want one key oracle for the collective it says it's not personal projection. Many times others project their own pain onto you. This situation is not personal, but rather an opportunity for compassion for yourself and the other person involved. Stop taking the blame by automatically thinking it's your fault. Have discernment of what you own, but also what isn't your problem. Okay, so false narrative is here at the bottom. It says, be mindful of the story you're telling yourself. Having a negative narrative is a destructive and simply not true. Stop listening to your ego-based story that is laced with falsehoods and old conditioning for every negative thing you say. Counteract that by saying three positive words. See the truth of who you are, which is wise, magnificent, and radiant. Okay? Other than that, peace and prosperity for you to you guys. I'm so sorry this video was 32 minutes long. Oh my God. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Until next time, bye loves.